Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a fantastic week. Today is another Christmas related video. I think I'm forgetting something if it's a Christmas related video. That's better. Now we're more festive. Can you uh, hear that? My neighbor's taking a shower upstairs? I can. <laughs> Sometimes they play music. I've heard the singing in the shower, but I never heard the singing in the sink. <laughs> Not gonna lie, today I am hardcore on the struggle bus. My face has decided to turn against me and erupt. My hips hurt and I didn't do anything yesterday besides spray paint. Am I really that out of shape? And my head looks like a snow-capped mountain, so please don't look up here. TMI? Maybe, but you're probably gonna see it at some point anyways in this video, so I figured I'd disclose it to you now that I'm aware. And no matter what I do to my scalp, it hates me, so <laughs> we're just having a lovely time today. But on the bright side, I do like my makeup today, so you know, that's I guess a check on the positivity list. By the title of this video, you might have guessed that we are DIYing a wreath. Watcha! This wreath in particular I got from Mikkels. Um, it is just a plain white wreath. This is the closest I could find to my possible aesthetic and my hair is probably going to be in this. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> so this wreath is pr I think the closest thing I could find is something that I could uplift. into a, a gothmas wreath. It is very plain Jane. It's a little, it needs a little help. Uh, it's branchy branches are all over the place, but don't worry, fella. We'll get you squared away. So let's find us a better angle to start this makeover process. I guess this could be a DIY video if you decide that you like what I did and you want to recreate it since everything I'm using, I. Pretty sure you can still get somewhere. So let's become some floor trolls and figure out how we should decorate this. I figured I'd bust them all out so we can go through them together and try and see what I like best. And then we're gonna do the permanent damage with the hot glue gun. So meet you on the floor. Well, welcome to the floor. So I have my bag of stuff here to show you guys so you can maybe figure out uh, what I want to do and then we'll set it on this table that I have right here and then uh, kind of do some rough layouts and see what we like best. Too bad you guys weren't here right now with me because then you could help me figure out which version of the wreath you like best. Again, got a wreath from Michaels. Check. To start out, I have some ornaments that I feel like would go pretty well on the wreath. I feel like these black bulbs will be the perfect size for the wreath proportions. Then I also have these black clips, which I feel like could go well on the tree. Speaking of bats, I have more bat options. I got this pack of uh, sticky bats that you can stick onto your wall. Um, there are plenty in here. There's 48 pieces, so I'm sure I have enough to go around to spread the love onto the to the wreath if I need to. I got these off Amazon. I tried to get things off Amazon. I personally do not want to support the guy behind the Amazon. Jeff Bezos. Founder and CEO of Amazon, Jeff Bezos? But anyways, I got an Amazon account because, or our free prime trial, whatever, uh, because I wanted to help out some elderly people in my area through an organization called Be a Santa to a Senior. And the only way you can really help right now besides going into really, really, really select stores where you'll find one of their Be a Santa to a Senior trees is to go online and they made a cute little Amazon wish list. So uh, that's why I got an Amazon account. In case you're wondering, also go check out Be a Santa to a Senior. I'll link all the information down below in case you also want to give some gifts to local seniors in your area who may not get gifts this Christmas uh, for whatever reason. So that's just so sad to me, so I wanted to help out. But that's why I got an Amazon Prime account. Long-winded answer. Another bat option. I got two more. Is 
these back clips I got from the dollar store over Halloween time. Maybe these will be good to use, I don't know. Then the last bat option I have are these really, really tiny wooden bats I got off Etsy. Forget what the seller is, but I'll put it here. Um, so that way, if you like these, you know where to get them. I think they're too small to make ornaments on a normal size tree, but they may be the perfect size for a wreath. So this is another option we have. We may use a variety of different bats, depending on what fillage, full fillage we need. <laughs> then aside from bats, because they're not all that Christmassy, I got other options slash additions that can make this Christmassy. One thing I got were these pack of six candy canes. I thought these are really cute. Kind of expensive, $5.99, come on, Michaels. I also got these three count mini wreaths from Target. I have this reindeer ornament that I got also from Target. This could be a good option, maybe. These felt trees. I'm not sure how I feel because they're white and the wreath is, is white. Wow. I have this little black branchy situation. And I also have this faux branch, which is some sparkly silver branchy things. Um, this could be fun. I'm sure I'm gonna glitter, gonna glitter, glitter, glitter. I'm sure it's gonna cause glitter to go everywhere, but it may be worth the sacrifice if it looks good. So really the only other things I have to show you are light related because you can't have a wreath without some lights on it. So I have these ones, Strala, uh, from Ikea. They're little, little uh, Christmas trees. I thought they were cute. I'm sure they glow yellowy white, I think. Another option I have are on my fireplace mantle right now. You know, you love them. If you've been here for a while, they are my bat multicolored ones. And those ones could be really cool because I really like the look of multicolored lights on a white tree or white wreath. I don't know, for some reason it just shows up and looks way cooler when it's on a white surface. So I may try and steal those to put on here. I also have my little ghost guy over there. I'll go grab him. Hold on. <clears throat> so I also got my little ghost guy, which I feel like he will be the perfect size to fit in the center of the wreath. So now that we've gone through all the possible items I'm gonna use on my wreath, uh, let's go ahead and move you guys to a possibly better angle. I don't know how much better it's gonna be because for some reason I keep buying tripods where the tilt feature on the tripod somehow always breaks and here, let me demonstrate what it does. If I try and tilt you down, oh shoot, you fall all the way down. You see how unhelpful that is? <laughs> Am I crazy? Or is your hand really small? What do I know? So let's try and get you guys to a possible better angle. So while you were gone, um, I put down my lovely orange and black tablecloth. Then I was like, oh yeah, I'll be proactive and put batteries in my IKEA lights beforehand so that way you're not just waiting for me to do that. Well, two things. One, I was like, oh my god, Ikea, you put a timer on this? So it says it has a six hour timer, which I was like, wow. Way to think ahead of people like me who forget to turn things off after a couple of hours and then drain the battery. So that was nice. I also found out that it was two AA batteries. For some reason in the store, I thought I read AAA and I was like, who has AAA batteries anymore? Then I went to go get a screwdriver for the screw on this thing. And I was like, all right, no big deal. I got a Phillips screwdriver, the typical number two Phillips screwdriver that you normally use uh, to unscrew. Screws that look like this doesn't fit. So I'm like, is it a really tiny Phillips screwdriver that you need for glasses? Like what the heck, Ikea? <laughs> we are using it. <laughs> We're going with the number one plan, which is these bat lights. With that really annoying Ikea problem out of the way, um, let's actually get to this wreath making. You may not see my head. I may try and actually have a more comfortable position to stand up in because I can't really see what I'm doing at this angle. Let's fluff the wreath first to see what we got going for us because it's, it's looking very sad in the fluff department. I don't really get what they want you to do with this. Do you see that? Like, do they want you to keep it down like that and hang it like this? I don't... What are you doing, Michaels? 
So I figured we'd try the ghost inside the wreath first and see what that looks like. If he hangs out like this, turn it on. Do we like that? I think that's pretty cute. We'll ponder the idea. I'm gonna try and figure out the camera angle again. I don't think you guys are quite right, and I don't know. Can you see? I don't think you can. I have you guys precariously resting on my ring light, so let's hope that we don't have an earthquake. So again, we like the ghost. The ghost might stay in the center of the wreath, but let's figure out what I wanna put on the outside of the wreath to make it a little bit, uh, Less sad right now. I think I'll try the ornaments first. I like that idea. We'll see if I continue to like this idea as we go. You know what? I think that was the perfect amount of ornaments. Because we got shiny glitter, shiny glitter, shiny glitter, shiny glitter, all the way around. <laughs> I would like to incorporate this branchy branches somehow because I feel like this needs more black in it. Here are my wire cutters. They are very old and uh, chewed up, so <laughs> they may not be the best, but they will do. Try and see if I can thread these in in a way that I like. Yes, do we like? I think it looks pretty good. You know, now that I'm looking at it, we may need to thread the lights through first, but we're just laying stuff out right now, so before I commit to anything, uh, we should just continue pondering how I want this to look. So just for <laughs> fun's sake, I, I'm curious as to what the tree will look like. I, I am curious about this glitter bomb that lives in this, so I'm gonna open it. But not over the wreath, probably over a trash can because I'm gonna use my brain today. Wish me luck, hope I don't get glitter everywhere. It is very pretty. It's just uh, a bomb of glitter waiting to happen. I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. Or should I say Michaels? This thing was awful. They didn't make it so you could actually pull apart the brand as easily. It was just stuck together. 10 out of 10 would not recommend buying this thing. Not worth the money, but we're still gonna try and use it. But I am very unhappy about it. I'm gonna try and put it in between the black branches, I guess. I don't know. It's awful. I hate it. I hate it. Loathe entirely. Just wait till I bring you over here and show you the mess I am making. Feel like the, the glitter guy? Ready? Okay, I'll be back. Gonna wash my hands and then uh, we'll continue decorating this thing. Guess I should mention this. Don't actually throw your glitter down the sink. So let's add some bat friends onto this thing. I am curious to add on my bat friends here because uh, my wreath is already pretty glittery, so why not add more glitter bats? Now I do have another pack of these bats, so don't worry. I still have some I want to save for my black, purple, and white tree, but if I have another pack, uh, might as well put some on here. You know, I think I like just having the four bats on here. We'll try the wooden die cut ones that I got, cause those are so small. I'm kind of curious. Yeah, actually, you know what? We're, we're gonna do a combo. I'm gonna do a combo of these guys. I did get a couple of different bat shapes, so here are an example of two of them. Okay, before I go overboard with the bats, I should probably add on some of these candy canes. So that way this becomes not just a Halloween wreath, uh, it becomes an actually Christmas wreath. Because I feel like right now we're stepping boundaries uh, where it's not quite Christmas, not quite Halloween. So let's just roll right on in to it. It's like the ends of these candy canes are wire here. Not quite a... A little sketch. You know, I may not have space for my deer that I wanted to use, but I'm sure I'll find another use for them somewhere else while I'm decorating, so I'm not too heartbroken about it. I'm liking how it's looking so far. Um, I kind of want to re-put on the ghost light to see if I still like it there. But I'll tilt this up so you can kind of get a better idea. I like it. Um, could it be better? Sure. So I like the ghost, but I... Mm, 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 now I don't know if I want it on there. 
I think what's what's bothering me about the ghost is I have nothing really to give it to make it Christmassy. So I think we're ready to move on to the more finalization stage, which is hot gluing all these items on and stringing on the lights. All right, change your plans. So I originally wanted to use my bat lights, but I am worried that I'm not gonna be able to get them out once I hot glue everything on to this wreath. So instead, uh, this will go to the side, even though I would prefer to use that with the right white, white wreath. But I think I'm gonna go with these IKEA lights that have enraged me um, because I can still access the battery pack when this is on the wreath. And I honestly don't care if this stays on the wreath. I bought the string of lights to go somewhere. If it has to live permanently on this wreath, I'm not gonna be too mad about it. Also, I was thinking about it and these string lights are uh, whitish silver and then have a white battery pack, which will be a lot easier to hide versus my cute little bats here, which have a black battery pack, which is gonna stand out like a sore thumb against the white wreath. And then this one has purple wire that is around the bats, which is gonna stand out more. So that's kind of what helped me get to this decision of deciding, hey, we're just gonna use the Ikea lights to wrap around the wreath. I need to charge my camera battery there. So I'm gonna show you the layout now. I'm gonna bring my camera over here to show you what it's looking like. And then I'm gonna show you the chaos glitter mess that's right outside of your viewpoint right now. Cause it's, it's, it's crazy. Uh, and then while you guys are gone, so get a snack, do whatever you'd like. Um, I'm gonna hot glue everything on. So hypothetically, what you see here is what we're gonna get in the end, but I'll just have my beautiful string lights on it as well. So you guys really don't need to see that. I think you know how to hot glue stuff on. It's not rocket science, it's hot glue. Just don't burn yourself. Safety first, kids. So here's what the wreath looks like so far. Let me bring you up close so you can see it in all its detail. Here's how the wreath is looking. I actually really like how glittery it is, even though... I think the candy cane just added the touch it needed for us to bring it from Halloween into Christmas. Then let me show you this mess. Yeah, um... It looks like I murdered a glitter elf. This is the wreckage. It looks pretty out of focus, though. Pretty ugly. Pretty ugly. Ooh, really pretty. Hideous. Well, hello, welcome back. It's only been a few seconds, but hopefully in that time you're able to go get a drink, get a snack, whatever you need to do. I return to you with even worse bangs than before <laughs> and hot glue all over my fingers. But I have finished the wreath. I'll show you here in a second. I was able to get on those Ikea string lights. They're so cute. They look kind of like sugar cookies to me. So here's how the wreath turned out. Wow. So let's go hang it on the door and see how it looks over there. But I actually really like it. I'm very excited with how it turned out. I like how it's a black, white, and red theme. To me, that just screams good Christmas colors. <laughs> Okay, so here's how the wreath looks like on the front door. I think it looks very snazzy. The only thing that's bothering me now about the front entryway is if I tilt you downward. Got my boo doormat, which I normally don't mind, but it's not, I'm not feeling the vibe with the wreath. So let me go grab a different doormat. Ho, ho, ho. Ooh, uh. So this doormat is from Ikea and now the vibe of the front door is perfect. Let me step back so you can see it all together. So here is the full vibe of the entryway. We've got the doormat from Ikea, the wreath we made together. It's all looking quite Christmassy, if I do say so myself. Now let's bring you up close so you can see what the wreath looks like all let up, up close in its finished form, and then I'll turn off the light so you can see what it looks like at nighttime.
hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I transformed a very plain white wreath from Michaels into a wonderfully Gothmas wreath. If you guys have made your own Gothmas wreaths, let me know down below and I would love to see a picture if you're able to share one with me either on Instagram or something. Love to see how you're transforming your wreath into a little bit something spooky this holiday season. Also hope you enjoyed seeing my kind of whole front entryway transformation. It wasn't a whole big ordeal but really um what can you put in by your front entryway? <laughs> And before I go, I wanted to reiterate the organization I mentioned earlier, which is Be a Santa to a Senior. If you have the money to donate this year or to possibly buy a uh, senior citizen in your area a Christmas gift or a holiday gift, um, please consider doing so. It's super sweet and honestly, it just uh, made me really happy to see something done for senior citizens out there, I often feel like they get forgotten and to me it just is really sad to think about how someone um, like them is in a situation where they won't get to see anybody for Christmas, especially right now with this year with everything going on and then knowing that they can't won't even get Christmas presents for whatever reason in their life. I'll make sure to link all the information I have about Be a Santa to a Senior down below and that's all I got for this video. See you on Thursday for another small business shout out video. Hope you guys are having an awesome holiday season so far and I will see you then. Bye!